Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about the three easiest tricks to increase your divine power. So it has been uh, prevalent in most of the cases in our piloted accounts that they are quite surprised from the first day of the pilot wherein they get a lot of increase in the divine power. These are mainly because of these three tricks because I know that not all of the people would be able to, you know, and won't need that much uh, help with the piloting efforts that we do to help them. Um, they mainly just don't know these tricks to increase their divine power that fast. So also, on the other hand, most of the people already know how to do this but here goes the first thing is whenever i check on their account they always use the job mount what are the job mounts this one so particularly uh, some are using the priest job mounts the uh, alpaca i think the boar for other jobs and for the wizards they mainly use fox so they don't use this tiled mount the reason why you're going to get a lot of you know divine power when you change your mount is because of the movement speed so the movement speed of the job mounts when it is not yet level 20 is 125 percent so as compared with for example the first mount that mount <laughs> mount that you get is the pouring mount so the more the pouring mount has 130 percent um, movement speed so if you're going to equip this example let us equip it our divine power will be going down by 1600 percent so that's how high the increase is so if you're gonna be equipping the pouring ride for example you only have the pouring ride it will still increase by around 800 700 that is due to the increase in the movement speed so that is one trick. The second trick is about the, the Vesper cores. So people don't realize that the Vesper cores are usually, you know, usually not according to their rarity. For example, if you're equipping a single skill Demic Cogwheel and um, you're expecting that you're, you know, you have incre you have the highest um, divine power possible for the Cogwheels, you're wrong because the dual skill vespers for example here or let's let's take everything out as of the moment okay so for example the number of skills or the do the number of skills that a cogwheel has is going to determine if it is it has higher um divine power attribute to your uh, character as compared with a single skill for example that this is normal right this is the usual thinking right so if you have a single skill uh demi cogwheel there you go you you'll get 2100 additional divine power if you equip a two skill or dual skill demi cogwheel it will be increased by 4200 instead of only 2100 what people don't know is that they always choose the demi cogwheels where in fact it would be increasing their divine power by using a lower rarity cogwheel but a dual skill for example this one would be increasing your divine power by 2100 right but if you equip a uh, a dual uh, vesper cogwheel it will be increasing your divine power by 2400 so that's a difference of 300 uh, divine power so more so if you equip a lower um, lower weight or a lower load cogwheel for example uh, you're equipping um, five weight here on your vesper cogwheel a lower weight vesper cogwheel will be weight uh, uh, having a weight of four right so this one is 2400 if you equip a uh, a lighter or a lower weight on your vesper cogwheel it will be increasing your your divine power by 2800 so that means if you have a lower weight vesper cogwheel it will be better for you to equip it than demic cogwheels so let's put all of those back so that is the second one the third trick is the 
within the mount tool all right so click on job and click on character every time that i see a newly piloted account on the first day i always look at it because uh that that is one of my tasks and my job to make the progress faster the improvements higher and the divine power higher particularly feathers gears everything so i would plan everything and i would be uh targeting to to change everything and improve those things that i have noted on the first day way on uh, around fifth day or seventh day if that uh, piloted accounts um, package is the package b so i always look at first at the job and the character if they really want to increase the divine power this is the fastest way for you to increase your divine power is through the character stats of your mount so the character stats of your mount uh, really increases your divine power in terms of courage okay this is this is the highest increase courage it both increases your physical attack and magical attack so even though you have little intellect lovely charisma and cuteness here courage is the number one priority so even though it says here that it would lessen all of the stats every stats here but would be increasing the courage stat that would be good every time that you increase the courage stat by around five or six it increases your divine power by 60 very high increase so in my opinion this is the fastest one to the fastest way for you to increase your divine power and it's also a good thing because it it gives a lot M meaning 100 plus physical attack and magical attack that's a lot right so all you have to do is find out wild kiwi so it's better for you to invest on wild kiwis than the sunshine kiwis because i only invest on sunshine kiwis if it, we already have the courage maxed out what do i mean by that so i always invest on sunshine kiwis because it gives you the highest possibility to increase a, a number of stats or characteristics on your mount so at the same time it also jives with the the wild kiwi whenever i use the um the sunshine kiwi sometimes i have to sacrifice one characteristic because one char characteristic might go down so in order for me to save that i would be you know uh saving some wild kiwis along the way but if you're not yet uh, if your courage is not yet 300 then focus on wild kiwis where do you get that you can purchase wild kiwis here 30 of that every day so i'm not sure if you're going to be needing to purchase it every day but if you have uh you know zenis to spare then go for wild kiwis and then some of the places where else you can find the wild kiwis are the diamond shop okay this one is worth 20 diamonds each this is actually in my opinion the best trade if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna be selling those um precious illusion card fragments that you get from doing mvps uh, if you're gonna sell them then uh go for uh go for wild kiwis because this is quite quite permanent if you manage it the right way okay so uh this is the last way and last easiest trick to increase your divine power all right so i know there are tons of ways to increase divine power but these are the fastest the easiest and the the usual things that i do first when managing a piloted account all right so that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you haven't liked this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time i upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video bye bye